some people may believe a president or some type of leader can change a certain area. How is that possible? That leader may be very smart, wise, righteous, I guess. But ultimately, if the majority of the people are doing wrong, what can that leader do? If you read in the Old Testament, I believe the nation of Israel, or should I say the children of Israel, or should I say the seed of Jacob, Israel, <laughs> I think they got punished so much from for disobeying God, right? Don't we reap what we sow? If many people in a city are doing so much wrong what can a leader do what can a president senator representative what can they do if a place is being punished because of sin, what can a president do? I guess they can advise people to change. Hey, stop aborting babies. Stop sinning. They may be able to do that. But ultimately, if the people don't want to change, how can voting do anything? How can placing so much faith in a man do anything? Please tell me. Let's say I want to do wrong and I see my country going bad but I don't want to change, but I believe inside my mind things can really get better if we elect a new president. But I am sinning so much. I am doing what is wrong, but for some reason, I am thinking it is not me. It is not us. It is not us wanting to do what is wrong. Like that is not the reason bad things are happening here, but it is probably the president. It is probably the leaders. So let us continue to do what is wrong and let's elect new people in office. Does it really work that way? If I am not willing, if many of us aren't willing to do what is right, you can elect thousands of presidents. You can elect kings, queens, whomever, but will your situation change? Will things become better in your area? Or are we, or 
are bad things happening to our countries or country because of sin. President Trump, Biden, who cares? Honestly, what can they do? They are only men. We have a spiritual problem. How can a natural solution solve something spiritual? I am sinning. I am being punished because of sin. Let me not change, but let me do something natural. Let's elect a new leader. Let us continue doing wrong. Let us continue doing evil, but let's continue trying natural things to solve a spiritual issue. Come on now. Some people may say President Trump is for God or whatever else, and who really knows? But what can he do? Can he fix everything? Honestly. What makes no sense to me, some people will march for people to get in office, hold up signs, and probably, in some cases, get into fights for a person to get into office. But what use is that if people are sinning? Wouldn't it be, I guess, more wise? to march for Jesus Christ, hold up signs with scriptures and stuff like that, right? Can I say something? It is not so much about the leaders, but it is about the people. Listen now. If your country is going through really bad times, and let's say you say that you have corrupt leaders or whatever, what can they do if the majority or everyone in your country choose to serve God? Like, would they still be able to be in power or operate? I believe God would change whatever is going on in that country. But if people want to go against him, I believe that is when you get corrupt leaders. So corrupted leaders, and I believe all of this to be true, Corrupted leaders are not the issue. It is the people. Look, isn't it God that allow, and I think there is a scripture for this, but it is not coming to my mind right now. But I believe it is God that allows or actually i think places leaders in countries so if your leader is corrupted and if i am saying this rightly i believe it was god that either allowed or placed that leader in power so if that is true something may have to come to your mind like why would God allow a corrupt leader in our country? 
Is it to test us? Is it to judge us? Judge us as in let, letting us go through hard times because of our sins. Please listen to what I am saying to you. Speaking about elections and all this stuff here, what use is it? The way to fix our country is we have to go to war. We have to beat up people. Why? Look now. Isn't it easier? And I think many times in the Old Testament with the children of Israel, I think it was in the book of Judges or Kings, Second Kings. I forget. I forget where. But when the children of Israel, let me say it like this, when the people of Israel would cry out to God, God would what? I think much of the time God would send a prophet or send a person and deliver them. Ah, oh, man. So you thinking, you may think electing someone and staying and staying the way you are sinful is a solution. No. Cry out to God. Change your ways. Humble yourself. And if you do this, I believe if the majority of us do this, I believe God will send an answer. Let me stop here. God bless you.